National Retail Federation. I am here again with Ben Sprecher from Incentive Targeting. Incentive Targeting. And one of the biggest things that people are talking about is mobile uh, marketing, right? right. So uh, if I get them to opt in with their phone number, then I can send them messages when they're walking by my store, right? Or there's a sale or something, right? Sure. I think a, a man's phone is their castle, and I invite you in on on the idea that I can control when you talk to me. So the idea that somebody could, as I'm walking by, send me a little, hey, come in and get a $3 widget or something, I think that's really spammy. So I think you have a different opinion. Uh, I do a little bit. I think that it's, um, so So first of all, I think that we are at a, a very important moment right now. We are at the, the beginning of what I'm trying to call the great convergence, the great mobile convergence. And there are five sort of key components to that. Uh, I, and c conveniently, I've come up with an acronym called CLAMP. So CLAMP. CLAMP. Okay. So you got the couponing and deals. You got you know loyalty. How I feel about that. All right. You got loyalty. You got right. analytics. You got mobile marketing, and you've got payment. Okay. And if you look around the show floor here, you've got companies like PayPal down at that end over there. You got Google over there. Uh, there are there are a number of companies who are looking at this giant convergence of all these different key areas that have been very separated in the past on the mobile platform and the power of that is not simply that you're that you have all these different you know components in one place it's by pulling them together you can make a much better go of giving the shopper what they want. And, and often, what do they want? Isn't, well, it just, isn't it just coupons and deals? Isn't that we're making our smartphones into? The shopper wants relevance, right? The shopper wants relevance. They so want. What does that mean to you? So it, it means uh, it means a couple of things to me. Uh, first of all, it means making sure, and this is uh, for marketers. This is a very counterintuitive statement, but it means saying less, right? It means communicating less. Like up until today, every new marketing. Vehicle Vehicle, whether it was direct mail, whether it was radio, TV, whatever, has been perceived by marketers as another megaphone to shout Absolutely. at their shoppers. Right? And which is, and, and it's like the little kid, the guy in high school with all the zits on his face, saying, "Look at me, I'm I'm important, right. and we're, we don't care about you, right? We we don't we care. care about us. We care about us, exactly. So, it, up until today, every marketer has treated, with some exceptions, marketers have treated new vehicles as new megaphones to talk to their shopper, and. And now we are starting to have an incredibly powerful computer that is with us all the time, that has incredible capabilities, um, and knows where we are, knows what time it is, and knows who we are, right? And so that is... But still, is you're programming it to be kind of spammy. I mean, you're saying if, if somebody's within 300 feet of my store, then project this message or this image or try to get the rat to the cheese to come into my store, right? I mean, this is, so it's not really personalized. Well, it absolutely can be, and that's the challenge to marketers today, is they need to, they, we all need to, to pull back and say, instead of saying, oh my God, I got a new little megaphone that somebody's got with them all the time, say, I've got an incredibly powerful, incredibly personal way to talk to somebody, and I need to respect that and respect them and use it, you know, only for good, never for evil, right? So, so but that's a that, whole new way to think, isn't it? I mean, it's like copywriting. New. It's in, completely new. Beginning copywriters are all about, look how great I am. I do this. I do this. This, and yet we know that no one reads copy like that. They really look at how can he help me solve this problem. It's so, and that's exactly that what it's about. That's exactly what it's about. So when you have somebody who is walking down the street, if their phone is set so that it chimes every 12 seconds as they walk by stores, what's going to happen? They're going to opt out of that entire thing, right? And so, oh, so they're going to... The one thing could kill the whole, whole deal for Exactly. It just so, be that one store. Oh, yeah. So the entire medium is at, at its infancy right now. And, and the entire medium has the potential to either tip in potentially the greatest way it ever, you know, marketing has gone in in human history, right? To be a little bit grand wow. about it, right? Or to be yet another way that you get crappy, spammy offers right. from everybody you walk by. And what that's about is saying less. It's about using the information that and the power of that of that medium to filter instead of to broadcast right but it's that's about, a whole different way of thinking right it's i mean that's not a, that is not an evidence around here i'm sorry well i think that there are i think it's a one size fits all just use our platform and you can 
yeah. say anything do you want, you've do whatever you done, want. Right? You can take your Valpac coupon and you can now make that into a Groupon coupon. Okay, great. And you can do all that. But there's got to be more to it because that's the thing that iPad promised. And, and that's what got everybody so excited. You know, that, like the first time you saw FaceTime and it was two people who were deaf talking. Right. That was a moment you were like, I never thought of that. But that took somebody to really turn it upside down. And I don't think we're seeing any examples. Have you seen any examples where it has been customized and relevant and interesting besides I, I, the work you probably already do? I, so. I've seen, so so to speak in sort of general terms, I've seen some of those uh, articulated as vision direction. So again, if you look at, if you look at Google and PayPal okay. as companies who are trying to think, you know, many steps ahead here about where exactly is this whole thing going. Um, uh, you know, the story that 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 uh, PayPal is showing at their booth over there, someone going to a coffee shop, yeah, right. is them being given not just any offer when they get anywhere near a coffee shop, but the, the, the phone knows them through loyalty as somebody who likes the, you know, vanilla lattes, right? And they know they're five minutes away on their walk from the coffee shop. And so now is the time to tell them. Now is the time to tell them, Get your order in right now. Do you want your normal vanilla latte, right? That is something that anybody wants to receive, right? And so done right, focusing on on not just the but who, even the, but, but the, the where and the when. But even as an execution issue. That's all great, Ben. You're five minutes out and you want to do it? Except there's already a line at 20 out the door. Yep. So your expectation, and just go with me, is that when I show up, my drink is now first. Right. So this is, and, and by that, the way, this is where that may not happen. This is where the retail doctor comes in, right? <laughs> this is about where where you go and you help the, the retailers to understand that customer service uh, means a different thing a little bit in an era where there are many different ways where your customers are interacting with you. This is a great idea. I'm going to pick this up. And this is the end of part one. We're going to take this up on second, which is that idea of customer service uh, has a new meaning. And maybe we'll talk a little about loyalty on the second part too. All right, fair enough?